With today's record, the Dow is now up 20% since President Trump was elected. That's the story of one economy, while many Americans feel like they're living in another. Why are you here at Amazon? Um, I was originally working retail, and it just, you know, wasn't enough money. Frustration shared today in 12 states as thousands of people lined up at Amazon job fairs, all hunting for work. Like nearly half of Americans, Clarence Williamson doesn't have a single dollar in the stock market. His economic indicator, his paycheck. I've worked at the airport for probably about the last five years. Uh, within the last five years, the wages at the airport, nowhere near what they should be. Williamson is talking about wage growth, or the lack of it. Because while the stock market hit new highs, GDP is growing, and housing prices are at record levels, wages are only up by half a percentage point. Consumer spending makes up something around two-thirds of the economy. If wage growth is slow and people just aren't spending the dollars, you're not going to see continued economic growth. So you decide to check in. Okay. That's why so many applied to Amazon, which aimed to hire 50,000 people today. And the hiring goes beyond retail. In Colorado, well, Terry Precht so wants to grow his workforce by 10 percent, but says foreign competition makes raising wages hard. I'm not just competing with the guy down the road. I'm competing with people, you know, 5,000 miles away who have a labor pool much larger than mine, but also at a much lower price. A frustrating reality for working America, facing an economy far removed from Wall Street. Jolene Kent joins us now in the studio. Don't mean to be a pessimist, but we've seen these things. Sometimes you realize there's nothing to it and the numbers don't support it. What we saw on the Dow today, is that real? You know, the fundamentals are strong, Lester. We do see that jobs are growing. Corporate earnings are good. Wall Street not bothered by the drama in Washington. So until the Fed starts aggressively raising rates or those pillars start to crack, this market is likely and could very well continue. Jolene Kent, good to have you. Thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.